In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how Skimbo runs the best gun bunch offense in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to let you know that my channel is all about helping people get better at Madden 22. So if you're looking to get better at this game, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said in this video, Michael Skimbo, I want to share with you one of his best money plays out of the Gun Bunch. This is a phenomenal concept that he uh, cooked up out of the Gun Bunch for the MCS tournament. And unfortunately, I think Skimbo lost to Ice um, in one of the later games on Sunday. But he is an incredible, incredible player. Probably the best Bunch player ever. And I mean, definitely the best Bunch player ever. Probably the best Madden player ever, to be honest. And this guy is just absolutely incredible with his route concepts. I think he's definitely the number one offensive player in the game. So if you want to learn um, kind of what he does, this is one of his favorite setups. Um, it's, it's actually the setup that he used, I think, to beat Drag in overtime, um, the money route concept. It's a cover three beater out of the gun bunch. Now, if you want to learn my entire guide for gun bunch, I actually break down not only this bunch here out of Seattle, but I break down bunches. Uh, Skimbo actually runs Washington. This same play is in the Washington playbook. Um, he runs the Washington bunch, so I break down plays out of Washington. I also break down plays out of Carolina, out of Indianapolis, and out of Miami and some of the other popular bunches in the game. So if you want to learn a complete gun bunch system or a gun bunch offensive game plan, I would encourage you to pick that up. I put that full guide together. Um, it's got over five hours of content, almost 100 pages of write-ups. It's very thorough and very well done. And I would encourage you, if you've not gotten it yet, to go ahead and pick it up. If you'd like to get a free sample, I have a free sample available in my text message membership. It's a one hour preview video um, just to kind of give you guys some basic concepts. And then obviously in the guide, we go a lot more in depth. So if you want to get that free sample, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That number's on your screen. It's also going to be in the description of the video as well. But like I said, if you want to get the full gun bunch guide, there's a link to go get it in the description of the video. Okay, so gun bunch trail. And first things first, I just want to show you the cover three bomb aspect of this. The one thing you need to make sure that you have is a little bit of time in the pocket. But as long as you have time in the pocket, this is going to be really hard to guard. All we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end on a delay fade. We're going to block the running back. We're going to double team the outside guy on the right so that we can roll out. And then we're going to put the circle receiver on a streak. And we're going to motion him to the left side just like this. And what you're going to do, draw back. Obviously, you can look to your corner route if you want to try to hit that. But what you're going to see is against cover three, this is an absolute laser over the top. Now, right there, my receiver, I threw that just a little bit too late. But typically what you'll see, especially if you're rolling out while you're throwing this, this is an absolute laser. So, again, let me just show you again. All I'm doing is shrieking circle, motioning him over, and then putting the tight end on a delay fade. And I'm actually blocking uh, the running back. Now, if you want to smart route this route, you certainly can. Let me show you that real quick. So, I'm just going to kind of move the pocket, move the pocket, pass lead to the right. And as you see, this is an absolute bomb against the cover three defense. Let me show you that one more time. And then I want to go over another route on this play that I think is equally as effective, especially as you think of your progression reads, because the post is not the number one, uh, or it's not your first progression, in my opinion. Your first progression should actually be either your streak at the snap or your corner routes. So I like to read this snap throw streak. You see I can inside pass lead that against most cover three defenses. That's going to force your opponent to have to put things like inside quarters over there or something like that as well that will really help open up the left side crossers and the left side flat routes. But nonetheless, we're going to show you this again, the cover three bomb, just show you it's super consistent. Um, I mean, just very, very consistent. Again, you just see here the streak. And I'm just going to wait for him to get underneath right there. Pass lead right. Click on. And as you see, it's an absolute laser. Now, what I wanted to really hit on, though, is how good this corner route is this year. This corner route out of Bunch Trail is much better than it's been in years past. Um, because last year it was not as good because it wasn't as, as deep. This year it's actually really good because it's super sharp and it gets a great cut 
against man to man. So you'll see here, pass lead that to the right. And even a cloud flat is not going to be able to get out there and make a consistent play on it. So that makes this route one of the best routes in the game because it's not only good against zone, but let's say that your opponent is running man-to-man -man coverage and maybe they're usering the, the tight end route or whatever or the, the, the whatever the, the other route. What you can easily do here is you can throw this corner out. Again, I would recommend going ahead, especially if it's like a first down and 10 or maybe even like a second and 13 type of situation. This is a great opportunity just to smart route this route, get it to go just a little bit deeper. But you'll see here, just pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, it absolutely cooks man to man. I would put um, maybe the mid the mid uh, in elite ability on that slot receiver or route tech or something. And you're gonna have a lot of success with that. That's not the only man beater we have. The other man beater that I like to use is actually the skinny post. You're gonna see when we cut to the inside, you're just gonna throw an inside pass lead right there. I got absolutely shedded. But let me show you that again. So typically what they'll see is when they see something like that, they might sit on the tight end, they might go to the corner route, right? Their user could go in a lot of different directions. But what you see is this inside post just passing it inside. And as you see, it's able to beat man to man. So that's a great man beater. It's also a really good zone beater, and in particularly, it's a really good cover three beater. That's what makes this play so special, is really what it does to cover three. Um, you're gonna see here, if you get any other coverage, whether it be cover two, um, cover four, drop zone, you can easily check it down to the corner route. I do wanna show this against match coverage real quick, just to show you. One of my favorite things to do with this ma against match coverage is to just hit the delay fade. The delay fade is kind of your check down, but you'll see here, I'm just gonna roll out of the pocket, release that delay fade. Now I can still throw that. Look at that post route, just get over the top of that quarter on the right, as you can see there, it gets in a really good position. But really the harder defense, I think, to bomb um, is the cover four drop. Now this can actually still be fairly effective against something like a cover four drop. It's not just, it's just not as effective as it is against cover three. But that being said, again, what you can easily do any any time is just check it down to the delay fade. Just pass lead that, get it open. It beats every coverage this year from zone. Um, it doesn't necessarily beat man to man. Most people that defend gun bunch though, they don't really, in my opinion, they don't really defend the delay fade. So you see right here, get that blitz, roll out, and you see I can just easily check it down to that delay fade. So this is a great little money play that Michael Skimbo drew up against drag and actually ended up winning him the game in overtime. So I would encourage you to try this out, especially if you're a bunch guy. And if you wanna learn my entire gun bunch offensive system, it's on sale for just $15. There's a link in the description. I've been running a ton of bunch this year and I've been learning a lot about bunch over the last several years. And this year is the best year that I've ever seen for the gun bunch offense. So if you wanna learn the gun bunch offense, every single thing, that you can do from Gun Bunch this year, I'd encourage you to get my Gun Bunch Offensive Guide. There is a link in the description of this video. It's gonna teach you some incredible, incredible passing concepts out of the Gun Bunch.